Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your general reading for today, um, Monday the 5th of August. So I've already gone ahead, I have intuitively selected the cards for this reading. As I said, it is a general reading, so just take it how it applies. It can apply to any or all areas of your life, which can be your health, job, um, you know, projects, relationships, take it as it resonates, okay? So before we start, I'm going to use some of my spray here, so I'll just spray that, just to clear my energy and to clear yours as well. If you are after some clearing spray, it is $20 a bottle, okay? Get in contact with me, it's a great alternative than burning sage, so um, details are in the description box below uh, if you'd like to purchase some. Alright guys, let's get started. So as I said, I've already gone ahead, I've shuffled the cards for you and the first card is from the messages from your angels and it is Serena. Okay, so it's a beautiful purple card, the angels there with the hands out to the sides. Um, they're saying here, I'm the angel of abundance, you will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen, have faith. So for those of you who have been worried about shortage of money, um, don't worry here because they're saying that you will always be um, well cared for and well looked after in regards to finances. Um, and they're saying here it's important that you are open to receiving as well. Purple is the colour of Archangel Michael who is the Archangel of Protection. Alright, so he surrounds you in your finances, um, your job, your home at the moment. So they're saying to you here, have faith. Um, if you've been wanting more money, the change is coming, okay, um, but it's up to you to not see money as a negative thing, alright, not see money um, in a bad way because that could be causing you the blockage. If you've been complaining about the lack of, you're going to create more of that, okay, so just be open to receiving and see yourself abundant in all areas of your life, um, including money. So that's your first card. Second card from the same card deck is Ray. Oops, still getting used to this camera, guys. Okay, Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So they're saying to you here, perhaps your mind has been um, overwhelmed, your emotions have been overwhelmed, so, you know, up and down. Yes, we're out of that Mercury retrograde. We're still in the Mercury shadow, though, for two weeks. So just bear that in mind. Um, but they're saying here it's important that you are stretching your body um, because that's what yoga does. It helps to strengthen, to stretch, and to become more flexible. Okay, and um, they're saying it's essential to your well-being at the moment. So exercise or meditation. The angel in this card is wearing orange. So they're saying here that you are highly intuitive and it's important that you trust your gut. Um, even when it comes to exercise regime, so select what is suitable to your being and what you're needing um, at the moment. All right, but they're asking you to just take some time out to clear your mind and quieten your mind as well. All right, so that's a beautiful card. And this will also um, strengthen your spiritual growth at this time too. So you'll, when you clear your mind, you become more open to messages from spirit. So just bear that in mind. The next card is Daniel, same deck, messages from your angels. This angel is saying that I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. All right, so for some of you going through some marital issues at the moment, perhaps there's been lack of communication, um, you may feel like, you know, the passion has gone and it's time to either, sorry about the glare guys, I'll try and get this a bit better for you. Um, it's about, yeah, reigniting that passion, perhaps that you've both lost. I'm just going to sit it, hang on, there, there you go. Okay, so again, some of you are going through some issues in your marriage, perhaps um, now's the time to seek some counselling, some, you know, help um, in order to improve this, in order to help you guys communicate, um, yeah, and, and move forward in a positive way. So I feel like there is healing that needs to take place here. Perhaps there has been some miscommunication or, you know, there has been some arguments um, and this can be causing a rift between the both of you. So it's important here that you take a step back, see things from a higher perspective, okay, and ask for help when you need it. 
communicate, it's very important that you speak openly and honestly about your feelings towards your partner. Okay. All right. The next card is from the Goddess Guidance, and the card is Prioritize. Okay, it's Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So they're saying here to you, don't worry about all the small stuff. Don't sweat all that. Just focus on the goal. What is it that you need to prioritize in your life in order to move forward and, you know, move forward in a positive way and to achieve this goal that you so desire? There is... Um, See how the angel's holding a big golden cup here? I feel like for some of you, it's definitely an opportunity here coming your way, but it's in your hands. You have the power to make the changes you need to, to move forward, you know, fearlessly and, um, and with courage and strength as well. I do see this as fire. So this can represent an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. It could be you, or you could be dealing with someone. So for some of you, you may have to prioritize your work um, and home life balance here. You may have to prioritize your quiet time and your social time as well. So have that balance. Ensure that you, um, you know, you're not polarized too much in one direction here. So really focus on your strengths, your abilities, and your goals and move forward with that. Okay. So fiery energy can also represent um, you following your passions. Okay. And on the flip side, it can represent feeling frustrated or angry um, that things aren't working out the way that you want. So again, take a step back, see things from a high perspective, and um, yeah, and focus. Focus on your highest priority. Is it your family? Is it your children? Is it yourself? Is it your job? What is it that you ultimately want to achieve here? Is it your health? Okay, the unicorn cards. Simplicity, yeah. They're saying to you, to you here, now's the time to simplify your life. Okay, so get rid of the old, get rid of what's weighing you down. This can be people, this can be um, toxic behaviors, this can be, you know, um, relationships perhaps that are not serving your highest purpose. They're saying here, focus on the simple things, okay, because they can be so small, but they will gain momentum and grow and grow and grow and grow. So focus on the simple things in life, let go of the excess. Put your energy into, um, again, the goal, but it can just be small steps here. And spend time out in nature. Very, very important. You've got dogs in this card. You've got ducks. Dogs represent um, trust and loyalty. Okay, so this is about you placing your trust and faith in yourself and your abilities. Um, perhaps you've done this and given your power away to others, and this has caused some friction. This has caused some... Um, anger or resentment within you, but I do see a unicorn in this card. This is about you getting creative as well. Could be drawing, painting, dancing, singing, anything to do with communication or the arts that brings you joy. Okay, but the horse does represent you um, being on a journey, so that's really exciting as well. So just embrace that. Okay, the next card is from the Crystal Angels and it is called Yellow Jasper. All right, I'll read out the meaning to you. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. Yeah, are you allowing other people to dictate how you should live your life? Are you allowing other people to influence you in a way that you feel um, powerless, that you can't stand up and you can't speak your truth? Now's the time to speak your truth. Okay, so again, it's about letting go of what or who's not serving you, who's not in alignment with your own um, your own needs as well, who, um, who's, you need people who are mindful, like you, people who are like-minded, okay? Um, but they're saying here too, this can be also you trying to control something um, or another person. So just be aware of that. You have the strength and power within you to only control you, control your thoughts, control your heart, um, control your body and your being. You can't, it's not good to give your control away to others. That means that you are releasing your power. Okay, God gave you power and strength to handle, um, you know, what comes your way, challenges, the positive things, um, but the control is within you. 
okay? Don't allow others to control you and you don't be controlling of others as well. So just take it how it resonates. The romance angels, yeah, you deserve love. Yes, of course you do. You are lovable. Okay, so for those who are single and have been waiting um, for, you know, for a new partner and for those who are in a relationship, they're saying here that you you deserve love. So be kind, be gentle, be patient with yourself, be patient with this process. Okay, um, now for some of you, you've been feeling like, you, you know, overwhelmed with your emotions here, down perhaps, um, that's because you haven't been loving yourself the way you should be. All right, so nurture yourself. Give yourself that loving care and that attention that you desire from someone else. They're saying to you, you deserve love, but love you first, okay? Because when you do that, that actually um, exudes this beautiful energy about you and it becomes attractive. The next card is true love. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So the person you're thinking of here is your true love. Definitely could be your twin flame. Okay, so you've been um, thinking about this person. They've been on your mind. They've been coming through your dreams, perhaps. You've been daydreaming about them. Um, but they're saying here that this is this person that you're thinking of is definitely your true love, and they're feeling the same as you. Okay, so... Um, with the angel answers, I do have one card, so I should have asked you at the start, and I'm sorry I didn't, um, but just think of a question now, I'll give you a moment, think of a question that you may have in mind, it could be about love, it could be about your health, a job, moving forward, home, your current relationship, marriage, um, think of a question, and this is your card, okay, it is called perfect timing, okay. So now's the time, that perfect time to take that leap of faith, to move forward fearlessly, to move forward with strength, with courage. What is it that you need to work on? Is it to achieve that goal? The goal could be within the job, with your health, your body. Um, is it with the relationship? Now's the perfect time to act. I see this card as an action card. Okay, guys, this is beautiful. So the angel in this card has what is that it looks like an hourglass in a way yeah it does look like an hourglass so yeah perfect timing um i love that and there's a lot of gold here so there is an opportunity for you and now's the time to um move forward okay with that opportunity it's in your hands pay attention to the signs guys this will be coming through to you as numbers 111 1111 triple two triple three triple four you know what i mean um, but this can also be coming to you as rainbows, as animals, um, whatever you, it is that you connect with. Ask the angels for a sign, but they're saying now's the time for you to take action, for you to take that leap and to move forward, okay, fearlessly, um, passionately. It's, it's all there for you, so that's great. I love this last card because look at the picture. Wow. You know this is going to be about love. And you've got the star, whoops, over there, this is backwards, you've got the star there. Look how they're longing for each other, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. For some of you, you may be in a twin flame connection here, this is about wishes coming true. Perhaps um, you're a masculine, but you've got more feminine energy within you. Perhaps you're a feminine and you've got more masculine energy. So it's about balancing both masculine and feminine. But I will read out the message for you. And it says, within each of us, there is a masculine and feminine aspect. And in order to have perfect harmony, these two aspects should be equally balanced. When our masculine, positive and judgmental side is equally balanced with our feminine, negative and compassionate side, then we are in perfect alignment with our true nature. To achieve this balance, we must embrace love and value, both the positive and negative side of our nature. Yes, yeah, so again, don't be hard on yourself. They're saying to you here, love all of you. Okay, and ensure that you have enough balance, that you're not too polarized in one emotion here. Ensure that you are equally balanced, both within the masculine and the feminine. All right, so that is your angel card reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed. I feel so blessed um, and so grateful and thankful uh, for all of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't, please click that subscribe button for me and like and share my videos. And thank you so much for those who have also commented 
and I appreciate your love and support. I love you all so very much. Thanks again. Keep supporting me and I'll keep doing what I love and giving you all these readings. Many angel blessings to you all. Thanks guys. Bye.